Hi guys. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be discussing uh, installing Helm, installing and upgrading Helm charts into your uh, into our Azure Kubernetes service, and I'll be using GitHub Pages as the repository for Helm. All right. So as a prerequisite, you will need uh, to have background uh, about Helm, so you can read through that in helm.sh and you can also read about uh, github pages and how to enable it and also you will have you need to have the kubernetes service available already all right uh, for this demo i'll be using my personal git uh, repository so if i go to my repository over here i already enabled the uh, github pages option over here pointing to my uh, chosen branch all right so let me go on go and check now um, my current helm repository so when i do a helm search in my repo i currently have nothing in my uh, repo helm charts and if I do a uh, Helm list, which lists the releases, I have nothing. I currently have nothing. And if I do a cube CTL command, get services. All right. All I have is the default uh, Kubernetes cluster that I just spin up. All right. And if I do a cube CTL get pods, it's currently empty. All right. So let me. I start by creating the default Helm chart. This is going to be an empty web page, website, and Jinx website. So let's start helming. Helm create a default chart. All right, see the default chart. As you, as you can see, in my directory, the Helm charts have, I mean, the Helm chart has been created with with the default content. So the chart that YAML tree contained the, the, the details about the chart, the chart version, app version, and the type, if it's a library or application. So for this demo, I'll be using the default values. All right, so the next step is to create an index YAML file. All right, so before that, I need to package Helm first. <laughs> so Helm, the Helm package, all right. So what this does is this creates the packaged version version of your chart. So it's important to uh, create the package file first before the index.yaml because your index.yaml will be empty. So to have the proper uh, values in your index.yaml, you have to do it again after packaging the, the chart. All right, you will notice the difference that the contents of the package file has been added to your index.yaml file. All right, chart version and app version and uh, uh, digest. All right, so the next step, is to push this to our uh, github repository so i already have my local copy here so let me try updating our github uh, repository all right git status all right it's up to date so git add all right git commit default chart git push all right the uh, files have been added to our repository so i can verify that in my repository over here the files have been pushed 
so all right it contains the correct details so the next step is to add the repository in our helm so to do that we will have the helm oops helm repo add the name of your repository and the location so the location will be a little bit tricky you have to go to your uh, github page link so this is my default github page link and then uh, map the location of your uh, yaml files or your package files to package file so for this one i'll be copying up to the library before the name of my uh, branch all right all right so if i do a helm search or a helm repo list you will notice that it has been added my github page and if i do a helm search repo you will notice that the default chart can be seen with a version that we chose a while ago all right so the next step is to install our chart into our kubernetes service all right install and then the name of the release default chart and the name of the uh, chart all right so it has been deployed so if i look at the helm releases you will notice that our chart has been deployed the status has been deployed and revision is one and the current chart version is 0 0.1.0 of version 1.16 all right so if we go to our kubernetes kubectl get services you will notice that a new uh, cluster has been added default chart and if you go to kubectl get pods you will notice that the default chart pad has been added so we can actually try to uh, run this locally so this is only possible in your uh, local machine so what this will do is it will forward any ports that you want from your local machine to your kubernetes cluster all right This is just an empty website anyway, so shouldn't see anything special for this demo. All right, so when I do one, two, seven, all right, it displays our default engine uh, page since it's empty. All right, with that we are able, we were able to install our uh, chart into our uh, Azure Kubernetes service. So the next step is we will try to up, upgrade our uh, chart. So in, to do that, let me go here first again in our uh, chart directory where our chart was created. Let me go and remove remove the the old version over here, and then. Uh, just change the chart version to 0 0.1.1 all right and then we will do another git <coughs> package command sorry helm package command all right you will notice that the version of the chart of the package is now 0 0.1.1 all right next step helm repo index so let's regenerate the index.yaml file which should contain the updated version of our chart and an updated version of the digest all right so the next step 
is to copy these three files again into our uh, local copy of our repository. So I'll be pasting it here. And to add a little bit of uh, organizing, I'll be adding an archive folder where I will put my old chart in there. All right. So let me commit my changes now. Git status. All right, it's updated. Git add. Git commit. All right. Git push. All right, so it has been updated. So if I check here in my repository, we'll notice that the chart has been, the package file has been updated, and the index file should also contain the updated version, 0 0.1.1. .1. All right, the next step is to, of course, update our Helm repositories. Because for now, if we do a Helm search repo, we can still see the old version 0 0.1.0. So to update this, all we have to do is issue a helm repo update command. All right, and when we try checking again, you will notice that it has been updated to 0 0.1.1. So the next step is to check our helm releases. So for now, we haven't uh, upgraded or installed our upgrade into uh, into our into our Azure Kubernetes service. So the next step is to Helm upgrade, Helm upgrade, and then the name of the uh, release default chart, and again the location of our uh, chart. So let me copy this one. All right, so it has been updated. So if we go and check the Helm releases, you will notice that our release has been deployed. Uh, twice already because of the revision, of course. And the chart version is now 0 0.1.0. So in our Kubernetes cluster, uh, we will not be able to see it really since we don't have any tracking in there, but our default chart cluster is still available. And our kubectl pods is still running. So that's it. That's how we use uh, GitHub pages as a repo to update, uh, to, up, to install and up, upgrade our uh, chart. That's it. Thanks, guys.